Carro. Hello, my Scorpio friends. It's Guiding Halo here. I hope you're all doing well. It's going to be your money, finances, career um, for the rest of January. I'd like to say that sometimes family love and such comes up in financial readings because they are affecting your finances. Just as a lot of time finances can come up in love readings because your love is affecting your finances or finances affecting your love life. Okay? So keep that in mind as we move forward, my Scorpio friends. Someone may need you. I'm getting this intuitively. Someone from the past. Ace of Cups. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. So that's beautiful. A gift of time, money, or effort. New career opportunities, receiving a loan, or paying off debts. So if you receive a loan, perhaps someone's applied for a house, a mortgage, or whichever. I think that may turn out well for you, some of you. Perhaps you'll receive a loan and be able to, to tumble some of that stuff, uh, debt you had, into your mortgage. Yeah something that's taken a long while to come along and I think you're willing to take your time in building this someone might be building a house building a new relationship building on a solid foundation and having a resurgence of joy good news is coming to you rather quickly from afar kind of like a hmm, whatever it is it's going to be magical I'm just saying, because this is going to give you everything. The last, it's the last missing piece. If there was a missing piece to the puzzle, something you wanted, something you desired, you enjoyed, you needed, uh, someone might have lost or, or not gotten a whole part, I want to get that, of a grocery order or something. And you might be on the have to hunt it down I think you're really tired of being gypped that's what I'm getting you're tired of things not working out and you're tired of being gypped we have the three of pentacles working together building this is a master builder card so what are you building what are you teaching are you teaching others by example around you there's something about teaching uh, maybe putting out a, a work project or trying to sell people on a project or a, trying to sell people on building something. Not sure what's going to happen. We have cancer energy coming to play here. The moon. Not everything is uh, as it seems. There's things behind the scenes going on. And so... It's going to take some psychic insight, I believe, in order for this to all come about for you. I think part of it is that you wanted to do it alone. But in reality, the divine says that you have a brand new beginning. I think, I wonder if partnering up is your best bet in finances, career, job. You're definitely going to be thinking about that. Could even be partnering up with a Scorpio, Virgo, Pisces, or Cancer. All right, what's at the base of this reading? What's the energy at the base of this reading? Ooh, intuition, out the wazoo. Yeah, definitely psychic insights. It's like it's like the divine is coming in to show you the way forward. Really listen to your intuition here. Really listen to your intuition. I think you've been doing that, but there's something more. There's something more. Perhaps you've been in a... Uh, a phase of like homeostasis I was just gonna say <laughs> the hermit in hermit mode climbing a mountain to find out what your truth is being in hangman mode trying to gain clarity someone may be stepping into being a teacher of what they know taking all their knowledge and wisdom and putting it in a lantern to be someone else's guiding light forward uh, you've been feeling blue 
someone's been in hermit mode feeling blue and maybe even having a little bit of cold feet in order to get something started. Could be dealing with a mother figure or this also symbolizes pregnancy. So I have a Pisces, a Virgo, and a Taurus. And a Libra. Justice. This definitely could be a family situation. I'm just saying. Family that you have to make a decision between. It's like you have to make a decision between, you could have to make a decision between family members, coexisting with family members. So I see the King of Cups, which is your energy, and the Ace of Cups again when I split the deck. That's interesting. There's a split viewpoint on how something should be done. One, built, created, whether it's business, person, place, or thing. There's a new home involved. Someone could be building a new home and it's taking longer than they planned, but there's good news coming about that. There's an ingenious idea that's that's coming in here. It's like a it's like see how this this uh, light it goes up the sword and you know how in the movies you hear it go ching. It's like it's like that. <laughs> an ingenious idea that happens spur of the moment. Creative mental ideas in order to start something, but not sure which way to go. Two of Cups coming into kindred spirit contract with another. Not sure which way to go. There's a lot of confusion here around money and contracts. And it could be that uh, a personal relationship of yours or relationships with your family is causing causing absolute conflict. It's like a rival, a family rival over someone even could be could be planning a wedding or something and the family wants all their needs to be the way they want them to be. There's some sort of competition as well to be seen and competition to be heard. Competition in the justice field. I wonder if someone's in the justice system here. Could be fighting in court. There could be a female judge involved in this. Bringing about this completion. Tens are about new beginnings and ending. Stepping through a portal of energy. So that you can use the energy and everything you've learned for the highest good of yourself. Turn, Take all that you are and head forward on your trusty seed. Someone could have a marriage ending and it's tied up in court. And it could be a bit of a battle, but there's an ingenious idea about how to handle it. And the other party could be very upset because there's a new love involved before or a new contract involved before, you know, the old one's completely ended. Now, if this is job case scenario, which is this reading supposed to be, I'm telling you, your love life is affecting your job. And your job and or your job is affecting your love life. Now I know why I had to say that. I wonder if you're looking, if, if it's a company looking to take on partners, I wonder if you're looking to take on another partner. But someone's concerned about the juvenile behavior that's going on behind the scenes. It's like, come on now. You can't seriously expect me to believe that we can build a company based with this juvenile BS. <laughs> I, I like you guys are getting PO'd. It's like, can we just use some common sense and get started already? Can we just get moving? We have everything we need already. Why are we reaching and grasping at straws outside of our what we already have? And another person wants to bring another in, and it's like you, you're you're like shitting me right now. Yeah, you don't see you using it. You just see it's going to hold you back another, what, seven months? Ten months? A whole nother year? Ugh. Can we just get into court and get it done? There's a crossroads coming here. So you, one of you all might make a decision to leave it behind and head to something new. Let your light shine. Card number 45, which equals a nine. Ending circumstances and situations. Tying things up. Let your light shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Divine's calling you to be authentic. 
Today, embrace your uniqueness. Uniqueness. <laughs> Say to yourself, I am so pleased and honored to be me. Embrace the parts of you that may feel a little strange. They feel this way because you resisting experiencing the fullness of you. We can all feel a little odd or peculiar at times, longing to be like everyone else and just fit in. But compromise breeds resentment. Looking your look, uh, sorry, locking yourself into the pre pretense of what others want. See what I say. Just saying. We'll strangle your soul and split you in two. Accept yourself. Set yourself free from judgment and what you perceive others think about you. Let your soul shine outward and inspire others to connect. Embrace and shine their truth. When we are aligned with our soul, we feel loved and satisfied. We no longer need others to lean on, to fill our perceived voids or to be different to who they are. Instead, we want to be with others for the pure joy of it. Create new ways towards anything that is of interest to you. Can you feel relief wash over you? You are beautiful. This is definitely about going your own way. Go your own way. Yeah, there's that song too. You guys, someone here listens to a lot of music because they know the songs I'm bringing up here. Dearest you, sometimes it's wonderful to give. Man, you guys get this all the time. But there are times you might find yourself overgiving. Now might be a good time to check in and see where you might be cutting off the flow of abundance. Let others give to you, even if you are more comfortable being generous and being the giver, the healer, the rescuer. In the art of living, we sometimes overlook an important skill, receiving gracefully and with gratitude, without diminishing yourself or trying to deny vulnerability or bringing an agenda of equality to it. Receiving is hard for some people. Maybe you... You do not need a this for that in exchange with others. You are doing good in the world. Let the world give back and support you. Then you can give up the old stories that have you convinced you have to do everything alone with no help. Let your well be filled. We all love you so, so much. I hope this resonates. Blessings to you. <laughs>